Greetings everybody. In this video, I'll show you how to downgrade from iOS 15 to iOS 14 unsigned. This method only works on A11 and lower devices. It works without a jailbreak. So currently you can check out that on my iPhone 7. I am currently on iOS 15.2.1, which is the latest version currently at the time of making this video. Now you can check out here also that 15.2.1 is the latest firmware available for iPhone 7. We will downgrade it to iOS 14.8, which is unsigned. Yes, you will need SHSH blobs. For this tutorial, you will need Linux. Yes, you can run Linux of a USB flash drive without installing it for this method. First of all, open iTunes and connect your iPhone on a Windows computer and just tap this model identifier. You will get serial number, UDID, you will get ECID. Just copy it and save it on your drive in a text file. We will be needing it later. Now guys, let's go into Linux and downgrade this device to iOS 14. Alright guys, we are on Linux now. You will find this written guide in the pinned command that has everything you need right now for this downgrade. It supports A11 and lower devices. You can downgrade your device to iOS 14.0 to 14.8 with SHSH blobs depending on your device. For today, we are downgrading an A10 iPhone 7 to 14.8 from iOS 15.2.1 which is the current latest firmware at the time of making this video. First of all, download the iPhone DFU for A10 from here. I have already downloaded this file. Next, you will need Future Restore GUI. Tap on it and then go to releases. Scroll down and download this DEB file from here. You can check out that I have already downloaded this file. Okay. Next guys, you will need your blob. Just find your ECID from iTunes that I have told you. Now go to TSS Saver website. Click Retrieve. Now paste your ECID. Click Submit. Open link. Now you will find all the blobs that you saved when these firmware were signed. All right. I want to go to 14.8. Now download one of these blobs. You can check out that I have downloaded the blob here. Next, you will need the firmware for iOS that you want to downgrade to. In my case, it is iOS 14.8. Go to the IPSW.me website, select your device and download the firmware from here. Download this file. You can check out that I have already downloaded this file here. Now let's first of all install Future Restore GUI. Right click, open terminal here. Now type here sudo dpkg hyphen i and then just drag and drop this file here press enter enter your password now this will install future restore gui on your linux you can close out of it now now extract this zip file for ipon dfu right you got this folder here Open it. Now guys, connect your device in DFU mode via USB. Alright guys, I have connected my iPhone 7 in DFU mode and it is connected to USB. You can check out on Google on how to enter DFU mode for your device. Now right click here. Open terminal. In this terminal type sudo space python 2 space i pawn dfu hyphen p press enter enter your password now guys you can check out that the exploit can be unsuccessful you can try again later until you see 
device is already in pawn dfu mode now type sudo space python 2 space rm sig chks dot py press enter now you can check out that patches are applied successfully you see device is now ready to accept unsigned images now you are good to go now you can close out of it now guys open future restore gui now go to settings and put a check mark on future restore beta close it and now download future restore now if it is successful you will see future restore version 2.0.0 test right here all right now select blob file from here select the blob file now select the target ipsw file that you want to downgrade to in my case it is 14.8 now go to options and tick pawn restore and tick set nonce to blobs all right now click next and click start future restore now it will download sep and then check build id now guys if everything went well your device will exit recovery mode or dfu and the generator or the nonce will be set for your blob now you have to re-enter recovery mode you can check out google on how to do it for your device now my device is in recovery mode now go to options and uncheck set nonce to blobs and uncheck pawn restore now go to controls and again start future restore now again sep will be downloaded build id will be checked downloading baseband sending file system now you can check out the progress right here verifying restore all right guys the moment of truth you can check out restoring succeeded restore finished and my device will now boot into ios 14.8 i will show you in a second before i show you the version on screen my device i will show you that the device is now on iOS 14.8 you can check out in chat rain all right so guys we are back on iOS 14.8 from 15.2.1 you can check out on my iPhone also it is on 14.8 now iPhone 7 that's all for this video guys if you have questions please ask me in the comment section and I will reply you as soon as possible I will see you in a new video. Goodbye.